What's up, niggas? Well, this is going to be part of my new franchise or series I'm going to make. These several videos called Final Fantasy VII Villains vs. Final Fantasy VII Villains. Sorry about that box right over there. Anyway, so I'm going to put up Genesis from Crisis Core against Sephiroth from, you know, regular Final Fantasy VII. And my main question is, who's a better villain? Who's a better character? And that's not to say who's stronger, who'd win in a fight, but who's more interesting, more deserving of the title classic. And in general, who has the more tasteful, skilled lines, cool gimmicks, and all those different variables that can decide the quality of a character. Now, let's start with Genesis. Now, I have played several, I've been through several playthroughs of Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core. I'd say that Genesis is a pretty freaky ass guy. You get to see him go through many transitions as a villain. He starts off looking normal, and then he proceeds to looking more and more like a gray ass, freaky ass chick. Looks like a chick. Same thing with Sephiroth. <laughs> and as for Sephiroth, um, we all know him. We all know his character. He's a guy who went insane after thinking that his mother was Genova or Jeho. I don't. Yeah, Genova. <laughs> and. One of the weird things about this guy is that throughout the franchise, as we realize that all these things are going on and that his real dad's name is Hojo, not the other crazy scientist, we see that Sephiroth's pretty much psychotic. And I don't know if you'd like that in a villain, because to me, people look at Sephiroth People look at some badass motherfucker. And he is a badass motherfucker. <coughs> I mean, a lot of people don't think that now because they look at the movies and all this, these spin offs, and they think, oh, what's so bad about Sephiroth? Come on, he's went on killing sprees. He's done that weird stuff that makes us not want to go to college dorms back in 2007. Only. Sephiroth does this regularly despite the fact that he's trapped inside this big ass crystal of life stream for most of the game. And as with Genesis, his motivations, looking for the gift of goddess, that's all cool and all. But he's freaking annoying. That's a one disadvantage. I mean, he keeps. Why do I keep saying I mean? Well, Genesis, his main problem is that just like how I repeat the words I mean a lot in this, Genesis tends to repeat the classic epic poetry of the loveless. All these acts. And I forgot what the words are even though he keeps punishing us by throwing them in our faces you know as to signify some sort of foreshadowing for the final chapter where all three reunite and he gets that gift of goddess and there's that big final battle and it's pretty Overhyped, over foreshadowed in the game. It's, it wasn't really that epic. I mean, I played Final Fantasy VII, and when I got to the final boss, well, it was a pretty big deal. I mean, everything built up to that. Now, in the end of Crisis Core, when I got to the final boss, I thought, is this really the final boss? Is it really over? 
I mean, I only play like. <coughs> it took me several months to get through the game because, unlike most people, I actually have to, you know, do it an hour at a time. I don't play six hours on a game. That's not my thing. When I got to him, after I finished the game, which took a long sequence, I was expecting it, but at the same time, I was thinking, really? Like, that's not to say that it was this big mistake the writers made. Um, you know, Final Fantasy VII took a long time. It built up on a lot of issues and dealt with a lot more characters. Oh, in Crisis Core, you only get to play as Zack. And I don't really know a lot about Zack because of this game. But that's aside from the point. With Sephiroth, all the CG cutscenes, all the cinema, his presence, it's pretty freaking atmospheric. While with Genesis, yeah, he's bad to the bone. And, but then what? He's also, you know, pretty lame. His backstory makes it seem like he could be a future Cloud or Zack, except he went to the wrong side. Because he was a Sephiroth fan himself. And just like everyone else, he wanted to basically impress Sephiroth, which is cool on its own. I guess that makes him a lot more of a relatable character since he started off being a zealot for someone, and then he moved up from there. But other than that, he just doesn't really strike me as anything less than the glam guy of Final Fantasy 7 he's got that look he's got that attitude he's a little bit less masculine than Sephiroth who has that more baritone voice but yeah he's the pretty boy Now, on the opposite side, Sephiroth can be a bit of a mama's boy, which is a stereotype he received for, for most of the franchise. And, I have to say, do I agree with the fact that he's a mama's boy or not? I really don't know. Do I think he wants to fuck his mother? Well, I want to fuck his mother. I mean... She's that no nipple crazy eyed bitch who seems kind of kinky. <laughs> Regardless, he does obviously have problems because he's the least insanity. And he did start off as the good guy. Now everyone in Final Fantasy VII starts off as a big old freak. Maybe not even Hojo. Who could have probably just been some angry scientist who wanted to surpass Sephiroth's alleged dad? Well, I keep forgetting his name. You get to fight him in Crisis Core, but you don't see a lot of scenes or any scenes in Final Fantasy VII, the original PlayStation game. So, which one's the better villain? I'd have to say, when it comes to stage presence, it'd have to be Sephiroth, Father Del. But when it comes to having a cooler, hmm, cooler gimmicks, cooler ideas, it'd have to be Genesis. And with Genesis, they had a lot of good ideas with this character. But it didn't really go as well in regards to atmosphere. He looked more like a Devil May Cry villain than something that could 
give me the sense of Final Fantasy VII realistic well, cross between a realistic and idealistic world where everything's sort of modern but there's fictional elements he doesn't give me that moment he looks more like some freak who would probably carry around big old gun transform and like in a beat em up fashion like devil may cry So yeah, one has its advantages, one has its disadvantages. Sephiroth being the guy with the better presence, Genesis the one with the better gimmick. One's a freak, one's annoying. One very unique to the franchise, one very irrelevant to the franchise in the sense of atmosphere.